Okay, guys, welcome to the making of Kim Promise Sisa. Yeah, Sisa. I've seen a lot of people love it, so I just thought, you know, let me just create a video talking about how the song was made. So I drove to Kim Promise House in Ghana and we, you know, we we're just like talking. And we decided, you know, let's just let's make a song as we're just sitting down here talking. Then, um, you know, how I started the beat was I actually started with a blank mind. I didn't have anything in my head. I'm just like, I don't even know what to play or what to do. So I tried different chord progressions and this worked. You know, so I started off with this plaque. It's from Omnisphere. But obviously, I had to like resample myself because you know I just had to make sure because I was trying to reverse it and all that so I'll come to that so I started with this plug it's filtered That little thing at the end it's a vinyl stop uh, in um, you can slow down your wave samples your wave loops whatever in logic just slow it down so yeah started with that and I think I came to this what's this yeah first this of that and there's um I, I had another layer where I pitched it very high so that and um yeah went on to use this base it's for omnisphere as well a little bit, it's a lot of. Oh, it's not here. All right, it's just a bass from the sphere. And then PZ Carto from Expand. That and we come back to the plug. And there's this another reversed. I think also from Omnisphere. I had to like bounce it out. Um, yeah, we progress it. We go in. Okay, this is a pad. Secret. Kill Beats actually played this part and he sent it to me and I added it. <laughs> so, you know, there's an 808 in the chorus, very low. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the melodies. The drums, I use like different drum samples from everywhere. So, this is a, it's a flat with a reverb on it. And a pitch, a pitched rim. So I think this high sounds normal. And I pitched it low. But with the clap and the rim, it sounds kind of different. You know, it's a different kind of bounce. This is a typo. Type of type of snare, I guess. <laughs> but when it comes to drums, I pick random stuff that just makes sense out of it. There's a the, some contact. One of the samples I use, I wanna find it. And there's also a rather. Bro. So this sound is from Logic. It's a 
one of these logic loops, vocal loops. I just chopped it and then I pitched it to the key of the song. And a reverb and EQ basically. Yeah. I'm sure this was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake by word. So yeah, this is the kick from Lex. This is the kick from Lex Luger. So I doubled it. And I have like two kicks running. One is on the lower volume, one is a normal pitch volume. Normal volume. So that is a, a reverb snare. I don't know where that's from. Um, I have a kick that I pitched. Okay. So the kicks are three. Um, two. I want the third one I pitch it down to my throat okay, sometimes. Yeah, mm, this is Shaker. Everybody knows the Shaker. Famous Shaker. And this is a loop. Oh, it's from Echo. Echo, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Echo, man. You're loser. Your kids, your kids are incredible. So I filtered it, blowing out, and there is also ragaton. There's a kit that I have that I put together. Um, yeah, that's it for the drums. <coughs> Okay, yeah, this is Kash K Kashmir. I forgot, I forgot his name. But it's a loop from a vocal sample from Splice. Yeah. Yeah, that put together. You hear it in already. If you listen to already Beyonce Shatawale, you hear that. You hear that. You hear that in sounds I'll probably <laughs> I played it really and I reversed it I play I think I played the progression from end to start so that I can reverse it for it to sound good. So yeah that and um what kind of game do we have here? This is a part um KB sent me. Yeah, this fat FX on um logic I turn the mix all the way up and then I use this rate because this is how it sounds normal. I just want it to sound like old school. And I added this. Yeah, kind of well, so just a little bit. But, um, yeah. Let's get a little bit no, it's just detail. This song is just like proper detail. This is another piece of carto. And then we have. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this guitar at the end. Play. Where's this guitar from? Contact. 
Okay, yeah, that's it. This is the guitar I use for the engine. I just played it. <laughs> With um, it has a bunch of effects on it. Chorus, reverb, amp from Logic, one up filter, um, I'm searching here, kickstart, like, bro. Just to make it sound high, but I want it to sound here. Pretty much compressor, two different compressors, one from Waves, one from Logic. Um, yeah. Um, you don't find me using crazy, crazy stuff. But you can have, there yeah, are people that have everything, like all the plugins in the world still. You know, so you, you need all the plugins in the world. Just make the sound, make the sound sound like you. You understand? You don't need everything that everyone has. So yeah, that's it. You could just be under thirty minutes, thirty minutes to forty minutes, because I was actually playing around a lot. So yeah, this is it. Oh. Thanks, guys. Bless up.